So we're going to talk a little bit about just mobile and the land of local businesses, which um, if anybody is working in the sphere kind of knows that it's kind of a tough nut to crack. Um, so for anybody that doesn't know a guild, it's just a really quick rundown. Um, we always talk about it's a pretty simple idea. We're just connecting people to great local businesses. But last night while I was standing on the street waiting for my boyfriend to come pick me up from a Yelp event, um, I was thinking about how I could actually put this you know, into perspective for anybody here who hasn't used the platform or who um, you know, hasn't become a Yelper just yet. Um, and within the span of like five minutes, I realized that I had three different things. One, on the desktop, while well, people well, actually I was looking at it on mobile, but last night I realized I needed an accountant because tax time's coming up. And I whipped out my mobile, I started looking for accountants, I found a great one, and I was able this morning just to phone them and say like, hey, I found a Yelp review, and they said that I should talk to somebody named Rosanna. She's like, that is me. And all of a sudden I had this wicked accountant who was already telling me how to save money before I even came in the door. I was like, what do, you, what do you need from me for my taxes? And she's like, you should make a spreadsheet so we don't have to do it so that saves you money. I'm like, that's, that's freaking fantastic. My last account charged me $800 to do an awful lot of stuff. So, um, the second thing that came to me last night was I was standing there right outside of the refinery and somebody came up and said like, hey, you know where Shine is? And I was like, yeah, I do. And they're like, can I walk there? And the girl's like wearing like high heels. I'm like, no, you should totally get a cab. Hang on one second. Open up my app, show them, um, I just mapped some directions for them and they were well on their way and, and excited just to the fact to see how to get to the place that they were trying to go. I was also able to show them there was a check-in offer on there so when they got there, they could like check in and get all the guesses for free. Um, just a couple of ways that you know, we're actually doing these connections. But the main reason that we're all here is to find out why you want to be on the Yelp mobile platform. So whether you're a business owner or if you're somebody who is um, just someone who's looking to go where they're going, whether that's traveling or even in your local city, um, why be on mobile? So I actually pulled this example because there's actually a party happening at U right now, which is in the Four Seasons. Um, as you can kind of see here, this is what the mobile platform looks like. How many people downloaded the app? Just out of curiosity. Okay, cool. So there's a whole lot of rich information on Yelp Mobile, which is, I assume, why a lot of people like to go there. Um, so on here, I just pulled up a quick screenshot of kind of where we are. This is like the whole downtown area. And I pulled up restaurants, and you was actually one of the ones that came up, actually came up as number one. Um, and we have nothing to do with that stuff. That was just like good fortune for where I was standing when I pulled up the screenshot. Um, and what I started thinking about was like, you know, like why, why would somebody why would somebody use this? Why would they click on this? It's because of this. These are some review highlights from the 54 reviews that they have, not all positive, but um, this, is what, this is what people say. You know, a lot, in five reviews, people said very good. In 14 reviews, they talk about it being a hotel restaurant. And in five reviews, they talk about the high ceilings. And what I found really interesting um, when I was just looking at, at this is kind of the same reason, I guess, why you came to us a month ago and asked if they could throw a party for the Yelp Elite Squad because they saw that people were already writing and they probably saw in their traffic that people were actually checking in and, you know, using the analytics and see how many people were actually coming to their website. Um, a couple of statistics. So, this has been actually a stat since we first launched mobile. One in three um, searches that happen on uh, Yelp actually come through mobile. Um, another really interesting thing that we've seen with mobile, and I'm, I would love to know information about this about other websites, so please feel free to tell me this later, but um, what we've noticed is that the desktop users totally use Yelp during the week. They're, they're big on it, you know, everybody's at work, they need something to do, it's like Facebook, Twitter, Yelp. You know. And on the weekends, when people are actually out spending their money, they're using Yelp Mobile. So we see like our desktop traffic dominating, um, and we see a huge spike every week from Yelp Mobile, which means people are actually out there looking for places to spend money, which means they're looking for places to spend their money with you if you're a business owner, or it means you're going to probably find um, probably going to find something better than just asking a random person on the street where you should go in that local neighborhood. Um, another interesting stat that we just uh, found last month is that every other second, a customer generates directions or calls a business using the app. So if you are a business owner, it's a pretty profound um, statistic, I hope. Yes. Um, so I always get this question, so I thought I would throw it in here. Who is an actual Yelp user? Um, and I know I saw a few in the crowd, so <laughs> yay. Um, 
So when I talk about Yelp users, I'm thinking about the people that are actually like participating, not just people who are searching, which is all the Yelp viewers. So I thought that I would go and do a little bit of searching on how people are actually using Yelp. Um, this person here, Kara, who I know in real life, and she comes to Yelp parties and, and such things too, because we like to get together offline, just like we are here. Um, Kara, this is her Facebook page, and she used Instagram to take a picture of um, Market when she was there. She uh, posted it using her, um, like off Facebook, and then she checked in using, um, using Yelp. And this is all on her Facebook. Um, I think this is a really interesting thing to see that when people are participating on Yelp, they're also participating in multiple places because they like to share. And I think that's like, it's the biggest thing that I think I've learned for the last couple of years of being at Yelp is that we all really love to share. There must be like some trigger happy thing that happens when I'm on Instagram. It's the same thing that happens when I'm on, I'm on Yelp. I just want to share with my friends. Uh, Instagram, how many people are using Instagram? Cool, okay. It's a really awesome way to share pictures beautifully. Um, I also noticed this just doing a quick search on Twitter. Um, somebody checking in at Coco Rico Cafe on Robson Street. So again, they're sharing information that they did on Yelp on their other um, social media platforms. And then, this one here, this is Rena. Um, Rena's the Baroness of Point Grey. And I pulled up a screenshot of this because I just wanted to give you guys, um, I guess, like a little overview of what like an elite Yelp looks like. Um, so Rena has you know, 692 reviews, which is more reviews than I have. Um, <laughs> she has 62 dukedoms. She's a regular at 17 places, and she has 12 badges, which means she's playing on mobile, she's going home, she's using it on the desktop, and she happened to be at the party we were at at Eve last night our community manager here is crazy and through back-to-back -back parties. Anyway, um, so this is kind of like our typical Yelper, just some demographics too. Um, they're, they're a lot, uh, they're really savvy people. They're young professionals, 25 to 49 year olds, and most of them have household incomes of about 60,000 or more. Yeah. What's your proportion between active, like that type of active and just users? Really good question. So um, the stat that I think would speak most to that is we have, um, actually the stat is we have 16 million views to date and we have over 45 million um, viewers. So there, it's definitely way more viewers than just active users. But as Derek was saying when we first walked in, he was saying that um, he actually writes more than he reads. So I think there's a difference between people who are, who are on here to share and people who are on there to like get information, so the givers and receivers, it's sort of like Wikipedia, I would say, in that regard. You know, we all benefit from what a few awesome people are writing about every day. Um, and then because I discovered Wordle recently, um, <laughs> anybody in there have Wordle? <laughs> yeah. So I did this. This is local businesses that I just quickly searched on who were doing check-in offers because Melody wanted me to share some examples of local businesses who are actually participating this way. And what I thought was interesting is when I made this wordle, it kind of looked like Vancouver. I don't know if you guys see that, but I don't know. It was like bridge, bridge. Like, I just thought it was amazing, so I had to share it with you. Um, a few of the ones that stand out, and uh, I will say, like, if you're talking to business owners, like, I know this might sound a little bit like a shameless plug, but business owners are actually putting check in offers on here. That means we all benefit, because when we use it, we get to use the check in offers or the special offers that they're using online. And this is all free stuff for business owners. Um, but if you could just stand out, the biggest one for me right now, because it just happened, um, is actually, we're going to go, Clarkdale. So Clarkdale is actually where I take my EW to get service. Her name is Gwen. Um, and I wrote a three-star review like seven months ago about Clarkdale. And, um, you know, they don't actually have really great reviews on there. Um, their service is not super. But the business owner messaged me on Yelp because he's opened up his business page, and he said, how can we make this better? Not only did he say, did he tell me that, he said, thank you so much for your feedback. We're actually using this in our training sessions. I'm like, oh, right. It really hits home when like somebody that writes a review, regardless of if it was me or not, that's just my own experience, but it really hits home when a business owner is able to use that information and take it back to their staff and use it as info on the go. Um, and now, you know, they're doing other things. They're doing check-in offers and they're doing um, specials and announcements and they're kind of just participating. <coughs> Um, another one that came to mind here was a Zero One Sushi. Has anybody gone to that little sushi place? Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're fantastic. And they have a check-in offer right now that I just discovered. $5 gift certificate or a gift card when you check in? Okay, I'll do that. That's like two rolls there. It's like cheap sushi. And they're, they're brilliant people. And they really, you know, they're a business that 
I've been in there a couple times. They're a business that just kind of gets it. Like, they just go about being awesome customer service, which is what I think most businesses should really just be doing. And they get that they can learn from what's going on on Yelp, and they get that they can respond, and they get that they can offer something. So they can keep, like you were saying, with loyalty programs, they can keep loyal customers happy. They can find new customers because anybody in that local area who's looking for a check-in offer or is on Yelp looking for sushi is probably going to pull up zero one sushi, and they can make a new, they can make, make a new friend. Um, I want to share any other ones on here. No, but I'll share one other one because I think this is hilarious. Um, so I actually was going to bring Jason from Rowing Dragon today to kind of, I guess, do his own spiel alongside of me. But he actually couldn't come because he was roaming across the country in his truck um, to go to Dragon's Den. <laughs> <laughs> um, so what I discovered about uh, Roaming Dragon, and when I started looking into it, and when I started thinking about all these things, is Roaming Dragon is one of those really awesome businesses that does it really well on multiple platforms. You know, on and they have there's reasons for all the different multiple platforms that they're using. You know, on Facebook, they're engaging with their like diehard fans. Right? These are people that like really like their business, and they're talking to them um, the way that you would talk to a friend. On Twitter, they're probably doing it on the go, so this one is talking about where they were at um, the farmer's market a couple weekends ago when I was making this, um, when I was making this presentation. Um, they say what's happening at lunch, they tell people when they're sold out of things. They're engaging with people right there, like in real time, and that's what Twitter is great for. They did a group on a while back, um, which I took against you. Um, what's interesting about the group buying sites is that a lot of them are using things like Yelp and other review websites um, to actually get information about if they should, you know, A, be doing this group on and B, when you're actually buying something, if you want to make that buying decision way back before you even decide if you want to spend 50% off on something. Um, and then, you know, obviously there's Yelp behind there and that's uh, lovely Larry and L there. Um, talking about how he first discovered Roman Dragon back when they tried to do the Richmond Farmers or the Richmond Market uh, night market uh, a couple of years ago. Um, I think what's really cool about Roman Dragon is that they really understand all the platforms and they get why they should be on all of them. And they're doing a great job running their business and at the same time they're they're seeing how like all of these different services, whether they're location based or desktop, that this is what's bringing people directly to their door and they don't have to do a whole lot more um, they don't have to do a lot more marketing outside of the whole dragon's den thing. Um, and then, I don't know if this is going to apply to the one brick and mortar business that we have in the house. Yeah. What's your business? Flower business. Cool, okay. Um, do you have a check in offer? Gonna pull one together over the here. Okay, <laughs> so um, flower business check in offer. Basically, Roaming Dragon put a check in offer on um, a couple of weeks ago, which is um, one free drink when you purchase ten dollars or more, which is actually kind of similar to what their group on was. Um, and basically, what that means is that they just open themselves up to a whole lot of other free advertising um, on Yelp. Uh, not to mention me just talking about them right now. But um, when people do check in offers, it shows up not only in search results, but it shows up um, on the bottom of the uh, of a couple of the search. Things where it just pops up what's nearby, even if you're not looking for check numbers. And this is free stuff for businesses to do and for the rest of us to take advantage of. Um, it obviously shows up on their business listing. It shows up in check in offers, which is a, um, an individual tab uh, off of the searching for nearby things. Um, and it's a pretty easy thing to, to do because when somebody comes into your business, you just click it like you would a group one or anything else. And that's basically it. Ooh, you want yourself a new fan and somebody who probably is going to yell about it later. Um, I don't know how much longer I have. I can keep going. I can keep going. Okay. So, um, I, this is my last slide, but I wanted to kind of leave you with something that I'm going to like bang over everyone's head multiple times through multiple presentations, I'm sure. Yelp's transactional social media, which means whether somebody is walking around on with their mobile device open looking for a coffee shop because they have a meeting that they you know just set up and have to go to in five minutes, or if they're sitting at home deciding on what fancy dinner they're going to go take their spouse out to uh, next week, they're making buying decisions on Yelp. And that was all that I actually had. <laughs> do you guys have, or you're going to do a question?